Jumbo Cornish crosses are about five weeks old, give or take a day or two, um, but they are doing so good down here. We moved them down to our bottom pasture just recently, and um, I think that they have been very much enjoying being on grass and actually enjoying eating all of what we have growing in this field. All of our meat chickens have come from Murray and McMurray Hatchery. And again, this is a five week old Cornish Jumbo Cross. And this is actually a, one of the smaller ones. There are a few that are in there that are substantially a lot larger. <laughs> really? So we're feeding grain on top of supplementing on our pasture. But the biggest thing is, is I want my chickens to know that the pasture is where you're gonna get your food. I want my chickens to be able to, to understand that the grass and what's growing is for them to eat. So what I'll do is I'll move my chickens, I'll give them fresh water, and I won't feed them grain right away. I'll actually let them eat the grass and figure it out. And as soon as I feel confident like that they've kind of learned like, hey, that's a fresh patch of grass and that's what I'm gonna eat, then I'll go in and I'll pour some grain in there. And I've been very impressed with them. This is my second year with the Cornish Jumbo Crosses and I again have been just completely thrilled with one their overall growth rate to the fact that they are just such a hardy bird um, and honestly Murray McMurray Hatchery I've said this from the get-go they are a phenomenal company to work with and they have got some really good quality birds and these guys are definitely living a, an awesome life here in the open field getting some sunshine fresh air I can't wait to be able to show you guys what the ground actually looks like after we're done raising these birds directly on the pasture. Again, it's just another part of the homestead, you know? It's just another thought towards nurturing and nourishing the land that all of this, all of this grows on. you little baby up and moving around where's your mama you handsome little boy you go get your mama there's nothing more special about having having new babies on the on the farm but although we I feel like we haven't had the best track record lately um, but there's still blessings in each day even if you don't can't make sense of them right now there's still some blessings in each day Come here, little baby. Come here. I want to see your face. Come here, cute stuff. I didn't realize how swollen my, my eye still was. If y'all are interested in seeing why my eye is swollen, I'll put that video um, above. But not the most easiest video that, I, that I've been able to share. Um, in fact, that was a very hard a very hard video to share and we're not out of the woods yet um i just went and checked on mama that's why i'm a little teary-eyed it kills me it kills me when things don't go the way they're supposed to be going um but i'm doing everything that i can for her right now and i'm just giving her some time for my my uh my heifer But farm life still continues no matter what.
no matter no matter what you will have a time to grieve and you'll have a time to process um, but we got to keep moving because uh, as you can hear I've got some pretty hungry hungry babies in the background So this right here is uh, some goat's milk and leftover whey that my good friend uh, Melanie with Happy Creek Cheeses. Uh, we get all of her, her byproduct and she's the one that actually came here to help me with my, my heifer. But we get all of her leftover whey uh, because it is so good for our animals. And if I didn't feed it to our pigs, it would essentially go to waste. These pigs are quite happy when they get a bucket or two. My mom and I got caught in a pretty big thunderstorm up here in the high tunnel and of course it's raining again but uh, I wanted to come up here and check all of the tomatoes. They are actually doing really really good and they look a lot better than what they looked when we put them in the ground. When we put them in the ground they were starting to look pitiful, they were starting to look root bound and I knew it was time um, but they are very happy up here. So in the next week or two I'm gonna start coming up here and uh, clipping them on the tomahawk hook system which is our trellising system I use hooks and string that that attaches to the top of the high tunnel and then I'll also start working on planting some of the other stuff that I have to get going inside the garden I'm, I feel like I'm a little bit behind but you know what it is what it is The other big thing that is happening this week is I have our state bee inspector coming out and they're gonna check all, a good portion of all of our colonies. I am up to 50, 50 colonies. <laughs> but a good portion of them are, are all nukes that we're gonna be selling to, to local people. So if there's anybody that is interested in looking for, for nukes and are wanting to buy them from us. Um, I have like probably within the next week or two all of these bees will be ready to go. If you are interested you can go ahead and send me an email and I'll put my email down below with all the information uh, so that is a good way for you guys to get in contact with me but so far so good. So I also shared with you guys that my son had purchased his very first, very own truck all by himself with the money that he has been saving up between odd and end, log splitting, wood jobs, which if anybody is local that is interested in firewood, because my son right now is supplying a few different Airbnbs with wood. Um, so he's able to take a little bit and make a little bit of money and uh, turn around and put it back into his his little baby over here. Uh, it definitely needs a little bit of love, but the four wheel drive works and he is very excited about it. So right now he is learning and researching how to exchange out all the lights for the dash. And there's a few things that we need to do. We do need to go ahead and switch out some of the seat belts um, because they just need some updated. The four wheel drive works and he's already been taking us out in the field. Thank you. 
thank you guys for coming along with me and taking care of some of the animals and doing a good old fashioned farm tour video. Um, sometimes those are my favorite when you get to see a little bit of my everyday life on what we do here on the farm. I'm gonna go spend some time with my family. So as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.